Good morning everyone, welcome to another What I Eat in a Day whilst calorie counting, aiming for 1,400 calories. This morning I had three of these Scotch pancakes which are 76 calories each. Today for lunch I'm having a falafel salad, so I'm going to have all this lettuce here. 100 grams roughly of cucumber and some um, of these falafels about 100 grams I was going to have and then some balsamic glaze on top which for 10 grams is 20 calories. So this is my finished salad bowl. I've got 92 grams of the sweet potato falafel bites and I've got 15 grams of the balsamic glaze in the end. So in the app this comes to 276 calories. So I've just been trying to plan my meals, so I'm starting the week on a Wednesday, so that's why I've started there, but um, yeah, I'm trying to plan my meals for the week. I'm not that great at this to be honest, that's why you don't often see this on my channel, but this week I'm just going to give it a try, Um, yeah, and I've started to put some of the calories roughly on there. Um, I bought a few ready, ready meals this week. Um, one of them I'll be having tonight, um, which is the chicken tagliatelle, um, which I don't normally buy that many ready meals, but actually now, as it happens, it's turned out for the best scenes, so I've got a poorly baby, so yeah, um, not sure why I ended up ordering them this week, but it's worked out well, and I also picked up a Slim World meal in Iceland when I just dropped by there the other day um yeah because I love the slim world chicken tikka masala and I haven't found another one which I like as much as that I can make it myself and the best recipe I've used has been off the slim world website for how to make the tikka masala sauce and I bought a few jar sauces since having the baby and I've not found one that I really like um yeah, recently I had the Audi one and that was so oily. Or well, yeah, we wasn't keen. But if you found a good chicken tikka sauce, um, let me know. But yeah, um, so yeah, I've planned in to have the Slim World chicken tikka curry tomorrow. Um, so yeah, this is where I'm up to. Um, you'll see that the we a wheat bix cheesecake I've put in for most days. Um, from tomorrow. And that's because I think that will really help my tummy at the moment. And I've bought a load of Molar Light yogurts, which I'm going to see how I get on with because I am lactose intolerant. But I thought I haven't had them in a while. They were on offer at Asda. So I thought, let me give them a go. The other issue we have is we have a very small fridge, just like an under the counter fridge. Um, let me flip this to my face. So um, we have an under the counter fridge, which means that space is limited um so normally i can't buy like tons of yogurts um i think the um they were on 10 for four pounds and i've bought some miller corner ones within that offer because i know that my son will see them in the fridge and want to eat all of them so i thought i'll get some of those ones more for him so yeah i thought i can make some of the wheat bix cheesecakes with that um, today I'm, I've planned in with my calories of, as having a Weetabix cheesecake for a dessert after dinner. So I'll probably make that around dinner time and I'll probably make tomorrow's breakfast one at the same time. Um, so yeah, that will free up some space in the fridge as well because the fridge is absolutely like rammed with stuff now the deliveries come. I always <laughs> sort of over order or sort of underestimate the space we've got even the freezer is now stacked to the, the rim like yeah so that's where we're up to so I'm just sitting trying to plan out the meals um for this week um yeah do you meal plan have you got any tips um yeah as I mentioned in well along this journey I'm not really doing a lot of cooking from scratch like barely at all at the moment um just because especially in the evening time it's very difficult with my eldest at home because he's very hyperactive and the layout of our house means that from the kitchen I can't see what he's doing in the living room. 
so yeah I'm just sort of a lot of the time I do feel quite guilty about that because I do think cooking from scratch is better and you do have more healthy things when you do that and you'll see from my channel from my last weight loss journey I've got loads of videos of me cooking so I can actually cook <laughs> um yeah there's loads of slim world friendly recipes on my um videos from a few years ago um it's just at this point in time <laughs> now I've got to yeah I've not quite mastered the whole juggling to and cooking from scratch yet um maybe it's future goals maybe when my oldest one calms down a bit um but for now yeah I'm just accepting um at this stage I, it's just sort of better for me not to get incredibly stressed and just to do more convenient style meals whether it's microwave rice or you know different pre-prepared things or salads I can just throw together it's sort of helping me to feel less stressed and to actually keep making the effort with the calorie count and I think if if I make it too complicated I won't end up doing it it's like I was thinking the other day that when I was on Slim World obviously it's all about um low fat and although a lot of the things I pick are quite low fat doing calorie counting I'm not actually having in my head that there's a food rule about low fat like since doing this calorie counting I feel like I'm more swaying to having like no food rules um just because if I agonized over everything I was ordering on the shopping checking if it's got too much sugar or is this is this low fat is it high protein it makes it very complicated and then I know myself I'll end up dropping off doing this all together um so for me at the moment I'm not having food rules um as such some days I eat loads of vegetables some days I don't um sometimes I have a lot of fruit one week and other weeks I don't and that's just sort of like just my <laughs> current um situation and the way I'm doing it at the moment I think um sort of maybe at some point I'll have more headspace to be able to focus on some of those aspects and maybe as I get um further along in the journey it, I might start doing that I have definitely found that like when I was doing 1400 calories like other than this last week it's maintenance calories I, it had got a lot easier because I'd got used to roughly what I could eat for that amount. I'd got into a rhythm and it's like it becomes more automatic in your mind and it requires less effort. So actually doing the maintenance week, that actually took more effort because I had to work out what can I have for that 2,000 not to run over it. And then it was like a slightly different structure than how I was eating the weeks before which is fine but all I'm trying to say is that actually if you're starting calorie counting um, it does get easier over time and if you stick to using one app whichever app you choose it gets easier as well because it remembers some of your frequently used food and yeah and if you do cook from scratch you can put in there your met your um, meals um, yeah so you can get up your spag bowl for example and the calories will have all been worked out based on how you always cook it, for example. So, yeah, I think it's just more of an encouragement that it does get easier if you are starting um, a new journey in calorie counting. And sort of I feel like a bit of relief this week going back to 1,400 calories because it has become a new comfort zone for me. And I feel like my brain can go into a bit of automatic mode in this week in a good way because I've got used to how that works basically so yeah anyway I've rambled quite a bit <laughs> I've got a sleepy baby yet again so yeah as an afternoon snack I'm having one of these toffee miller lights for 78 calories as an afternoon snack a late afternoon snack having one of these biscuits for 115 calories I bought them for my son for his birthday originally, but he wasn't that fussed on them, so yeah, they're left for me.
this is what I'm having for dinner tonight. So the chicken um, tagliatelle meal from Asda, which the whole packet is 372 calories. I'm having this mixed vegetables, about half of that for 50 calories and 100 grams of cucumber, which is 14 calories. So this totals all to around, I think, 430, something like that. So yeah, that's what I'm having. I'll show you when it's all plated up. This is my finished dinner. I swapped the cucumber for cheese in the end as I thought there was cheese in the pasta. It's something like 534 calories in total. I'm just prepping two Weetabix cheesecakes. I've put 90 ml of skimmed milk in with two Weetabix in each box. One of these will be for breakfast tomorrow. Then I'm going to put a Miller Lite yogurt on strawberry flavour on both. And then later, um, when I'm about to eat it, I'll put on some fresh strawberries on top as well. This is my finished Weetabix cheesecake for roughly about 270 calories, I think, all in all. In the night, 1518 calories, so slightly over today. Um, but I really fancied having cheese with the pasta, so that's sort of where I've gone over, which I hadn't planned for earlier in the day. And I thoroughly enjoyed the Weetabix cheesecake. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to having those quite often this um, week. And um, yeah, that pasta, this um, chicken tagliatelle. It was quite a basic ready meal. It felt quite healthy because it was just like a tomato sauce, plain chicken breast in it and pasta. So I would imagine that would be quite low on Slimming World. Um, but it didn't have a huge deal of flavour. So I did add the cheese and I put in a quarter of a stock cube, sprinkled that in, into it. And then it was really nice. So yeah, not a bad option for like um, something just to have um, for those times when you haven't got time to cook or something but yeah anyway I've chatted on so I'll catch you on my next video thank you for watching bye